Hurricane Barbara is now a Category 5 storm on our latest estimates. It's been a tough call to make, but according to Force 13's latest satellite estimates, it's now up to 160 miles per hour and a pressure of 925 millibars. A very borderline case at this point, but still a very impressive storm nonetheless. Still, Barbara is not likely to affect land in the next five days, and landfall certainly isn't expected, so that means that there is no CDPS rating, as there is no threat to land. So let's take a look at where Barbara is. It's in the middle of the ocean, so we can't see any land areas on this graphic. It's at 13.1 north, 124.3 west. That's as of 7.30 p.m. Pacific time this June, July the 2nd. The storm is likely to move towards the west-northwest. It's currently 733 miles from Clarion Island, 968 from Socorro, 1193 from La Paz, 1357 from Puerto Vallarta, and 2074 from Hilo, Hawaii. No warnings are currently in effect from the storm, which as you can see is way off towards the southwest, far away from the uh, American continent and from Mexico. So a lot of open ocean ahead of Barbara, and this is what we expect for total rainfall amounts. You can see quite clearly the trail where the storm actually goes on this graphic here, the rainfall over the next five days. You can see there further east as well, the track of what would be the next storm in the Eastern Pacific Basin. Uh, so that's curious to see on this graphic as well. But you can see it trails off a little bit with Barbara uh, as it weakens later on in the forecast period. We'll look at that again in a moment. Sea surface temperatures are around 28 degrees Celsius underneath this massive storm. Uh, the main area of the hurricane extends around 140 miles north to south. The eye is 35 miles wide. And this is what we're expecting from the wind field over the next few days now. So this is where Hawaii watches and we see what happens with the storm. But it looks as though it's going to be very weak by the time it gets there. It's still not going to happen until next week. So there's plenty of time to watch and actually see what occurs. There it is, uh, losing tropical storm status on Saturday, not too far away from Hawaii. And then it does arrive there as a remnant, probably by Monday. So this graphic remains blank because there is zero chance of tropical storm force winds occurring on any land areas in the next five days uh, at some point or other one of those islands will start to light up later on I expect as there will be some small chances of impacts. So this is what the models have been saying, uh, very difficult to predict the rapid intensification phases that go on in the eastern pacific so they're behind the curve as is pretty typical. Wind shear though is something we can deduce from this, it's remaining very low as we enter today, as we enter Wednesday. Uh, sea surface temperatures are going to start dropping towards the later part of the day and so is relative humidity so Barbara's probably got about 12 hours left of intensification time. So this is how it's been looking in the latest frames. You can see how the eye looks fantastic, especially on a visible point of view, the water vapor accompanying it, this hybrid imagery here, um, and daylight starting to fade over the storm. Um, a little bit of lopsidedness that we were looking at earlier, but uh, not really in those later frames, still a little bit more north than south. The southern side has always been a little bit more frail, although having said that, it is producing the higher cloud tops right now. A very fierce looking storm, and I think worth its Category 5 appearance. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description. <laughs>